Hello everyone, Joel Tooth here again. Got another great video for you. It's a real hot and humid day in July. And we got a train coming, so this could be really cool. And I'm in Williamsburg, Ohio right now, mile post 33. Here, check this out. There's the old mile post right there. C stands for Cincinnati. Cincinnati mile post 33. And this is where the defect detector is located. And it's been vandalized, as you can tell. This was turned off somewhere around 17 years or so ago. Norfolk Southern used to um, use it. You hear it come over the radio. No defects, mile post 33.0. I used to hear that for years on my scanner. Uh, it was never used by Cincinnati Eastern Railroad, but we've got a Cincinnati Eastern Railroad train coming right now. Go ahead and start the video, son. Downtown Williamsburg, Ohio. There she comes, eastbound, the rock train. Wow, was that cool or what? Man, that was a good one. I'm gonna say somewhere around 40 cars. I didn't count, but somewhere around 40 cars. Count those, let me know. All right, the uh, first cars were the rock cars. They're going all the way up to Plum Run to load rock. Then you've got the covered hoppers. Those go to Winchester Ag, they load grain. Uh, then you've got the last cars five on the end. Those are gondola cars. And those, they'll be loading railroad ties. Untreated railroad ties get loaded in those down in Peebles. That's the newest customer. That was really cool. Let's go catch them again. Let's get to the other side of the train. Here we go, son. Check out these old signals right here. Old Norfolk and Western color position lights. Mile post 33.2. Haven't been used in years, obviously. But they've also got glass insulators. Look at this. All those glass insulators are still there, all the way down through here on this line. Thousands of them. Obviously not in use, hasn't been in use in years since they turned those lights off. Lights were turned off, um, oh, somewhere around 2005, something like that. Don't quote me on that. Here's something else that's really cool. Check out, uh, it's over here. That tie plate right there, 1940. It's a 1940 tie plate. 
still in use. Here's some really old tie plates on this siding right here. Look at that. It says Republic Steel 1930. Wow, those tie plates were made in 1930. And here's a derail. Normally that derail would be over the rail on a siding, but it's not on the rail for some reason. And I noticed the lock is right there. There's the lock. It's got a chain that's laying on the ground, and it's supposed to be right there. The lock is supposed to be on that, that derail so that you can't flip that. So I'm not sure why that's like that. Huh. I never noticed that before. Well, leave a comment. What do you think about that? That should be, the lock should be on there so that you can't flip that. It's just a siding, but the derail is normally over top of the track. Um, in case a car would roll down through here, it would derail the car before it got on the main track. You know, and cause a bigger derailment. That's the whole idea for a derail. It's to prevent a bigger accident from happening from an errant car. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more! Of course there always is. Let's see the other side of the train. We're in downtown Mount Orb right now. Mount Orb, Ohio. Here she comes. Those people got lucky. They probably even realize it.
Wait for me. Oh, that's hard to do. There you go, downtown Mount Orb, eastbound. That was a good train. Somewhere around 40 cars or so. Wow, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget the slideshow too at the end of the videos. I always have slideshows that pertain to the video I'm filming. And the dog and cat, Norfie Chessie, you know. Thanks for watching. Sicily Road between Sardinia and Mount Orb. Wow, was that cool or what? Ah, but wait, there's more. Of course, what is this? Train time in Sardinia, Ohio, right behind me.
you go. That was a pretty good one. The first set of cars were for Hanson for the quarry. Uh, the nine covered hoppers go to Winchester Ag for grain. And then the last five go to McCoy Lumber and Peebles loading railroad ties. Thanks for watching, everyone. Give me a thumbs up. Check out the slideshow, too. And Jesse and Norfie. Man, it's hot out. Mainly humid. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's pretty cool. Moving that gigantic transformer. Look at that. Edwards moving. Check out all these motorcycles right here. Huge gang of them. Cool or what? That was awesome. Here we are at the Sardinia Y on a Saturday. We got to take the transformer to one of the solar farms that they're installing not too far from me. I actually got a couple letters. They were wanting to use my farm for solar panels. But I just wasn't interested in that. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. Hey, if you got time, watch another video. Every view really helps my channel and it helps pay for that gas. And we got Chessie and Norfie and the slideshow. So thanks for watching, everyone. There's a kitty cat sleeping. Can't always see her because she's so dark. Wow, she's really dark. And where's Jesse? Hey, Jesse. Jesse's looking out the window. And somebody's just now pulling in the driveway. And it's pouring down rain out there too. Just pouring down the rain. And there's the other doggy. Hey, Sophie. Did you guys put another hole in my pillow? Hi, Sophie. Hi there. Ah.